When a new ship quietly enters service, it rarely makes headlines. But sometimes, that quiet moment signals something bigger. In early 2026, the PLA Navy officially introduced a new Type 052D destroyer named Laudy. At first glance, it looks familiar. But look closer, and this ship reveals how modern fleets are being reshaped by smarter sensors, deeper connectivity, and evolving operational roles. The most visually striking update on Laudy appears right away. A redesigned main mast topped with a new radar configuration. This is not a decorative change, and it is not about size or appearance. It is about perception. According to analysts cited by official Chinese media, the radar fitted to Laudy is likely a dual-face rotating active electronically scanned array, often shortened to ASA. While earlier Type 052D ships already used advanced sensors, this newer configuration represents a step forward in how information is gathered, refreshed, and shared. What makes this important is not raw power, but efficiency. A rotating dual-face ASA radar allows the ship to maintain consistent awareness across a wide area while updating tracked objects more frequently. In simple terms, the ship sees more, sees it faster, and sees it more clearly. For a modern surface vessel, awareness is everything. The radar does not work alone. It feeds a constant stream of data into onboard systems that filter, prioritize, and interpret what the ship detects. Whether monitoring air traffic, surface movement, or environmental conditions, the radar acts as the ship's primary sense organ. Another key improvement lies in reliability. ASA radars are built with thousands of small transmit-receive modules. If some modules fail, the system continues operating with minimal degradation. This improves uptime and reduces maintenance pressure, which matters during long deployments. Most importantly, this upgrade reflects a shift in design philosophy. Instead of focusing on adding more equipment, the emphasis is now on improving how information flows from sensors to decision systems. The radar on Laudy is not just about detection. It is about creating a clearer, more stable picture of the surrounding environment at all times. In that sense, the radar upgrade is not a single feature. It is the foundation that enables everything else the ship is designed to do. Beyond what can be seen from the outside, Laudy introduces deeper changes inside the ship. According to crew members interviewed by state media, this version of the Type 052D adopts a new system architecture and a new operational framework. These phrases may sound abstract, but they point to a very real transformation. In earlier generations of surface vessels, ships largely operated as independent units. They shared information, but each ship processed most data internally. That model is changing. Today's fleets are increasingly built around shared awareness and coordinated decision-making. On Laudy, onboard systems are designed to integrate sensor data, navigation inputs, and communication streams into a unified digital environment. This allows the ship to act not just as a participant, but as a coordinator within a larger group of vessels. Think of it less as a single platform and more as a floating information hub. The ship can receive data from nearby units, process it efficiently, and redistribute refined information back to the group. This reduces duplication, speeds up responses, and improves overall coordination. Another benefit of this architecture is flexibility. Software-driven systems can be updated more easily than hardware-locked designs. As requirements evolve, the ship's capabilities can be adjusted through system updates rather than physical redesigns. This extends the ship's relevance over time. Crew workload is also affected. Modern interfaces reduce manual input and automate routine processes, allowing personnel to focus on oversight rather than constant control. This is especially important during extended operations, where fatigue can degrade performance. What stands out is that none of these improvements rely on dramatic changes in size or appearance. The transformation happens through connectivity, integration, and smarter internal design. In practical terms, Laudy represents a shift towards ships that think collectively rather than individually. It reflects a broader trend in modern fleets worldwide, where success depends less on isolated platforms and more on how well systems work together. To fully understand why Laudy matters, 
it helps to step back and look at the Type 052D program as a whole. The first ship of this class entered service in 2014. Since then, multiple units have been introduced, each incorporating lessons learned from the ones before. Rather than pursuing radical redesigns, the approach has been incremental. Hull forms remained largely consistent. Dimensions changed only slightly. What evolved steadily were sensors, electronics, and internal systems. This strategy offers several advantages. First, it reduces risk. Proven designs are easier to maintain and operate. Second, it allows upgrades to be introduced gradually, avoiding disruptive transitions. Third, it creates a common platform where crews can transfer experience across ships. Laudi represents the most refined stage of this process so far. The updated radar, revised architecture, and enhanced coordination role did not appear overnight. They are the result of more than a decade of continuous improvement. This also signals design maturity. Early in a program, builders focus on making something work. Later, the focus shifts to making it work better, longer, and more efficiently. Laudi sits firmly in that second phase. Another important aspect is balance. Instead of maximizing a single capability, the latest Type 052D variants aim to remain versatile. They are designed to support area awareness, group coordination, and long-duration presence without becoming overly specialized. From a broader perspective, this evolution shows how modern surface fleets grow stronger not just by adding new ships, but by refining how those ships operate together. The value lies in integration, not isolation. Seen this way, Laudi is not a standalone milestone. It is a snapshot of a larger, ongoing process, one where consistency, feedback, and system-level thinking drive progress. An often overlooked advantage of this refinement approach is production efficiency. When a design remains stable at its core, improvements can be integrated without slowing construction timelines. This allows shipbuilders to maintain steady output while still introducing meaningful upgrades. At the same time, training pipelines benefit from consistency as crews move between ships with minimal adjustment. Over time, this creates a fleet that is not only technologically aligned, but operationally fluent. The commissioning of Laudi is not about a single ship entering service. It is about how surface fleets are quietly changing. Better sensors mean clearer awareness. Smarter architecture means stronger coordination. Continuous refinement means long-term relevance. Rather than dramatic announcements or sudden shifts, progress here comes through careful iteration. Laudi shows how modern ships are becoming less about individual presence and more about shared understanding. In that sense, this destroyer offers a clear glimpse into the future of fleet design, where information, connectivity, and adaptability matter most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.